time project presentation. Um, my name is Mark Detry, and we are ECE Group 01. Our project is the 360 degree sensing autonomous e scooter. Um, Josh, if you could follow along with your cursor, that way people know where I am. Um, so, we're going to go through some backgrounds, the introduction, our solution, some features involved, uh, the machine learning process, and our goals for the future efforts. First up, our introduction. Um, so, over the past decade, um, so battery technology has improved greatly. These improvements have actually paved the way for widely adopted uh, PEVs or personal electric vehicles. Uh, sadly, another statistic that's also been rising are PEV related accidents. Uh, most PEVs are inherently more dangerous than other forms of transportation just because of their miniature and, and exposed design. Um, elbow pads and helmets can't really do much compared to the safety features that are apparent in cars, such as seat belts and airbags, um, and also the major crump crumple zones that are engineered into the front and backs of those vehicles. Um, next up, uh, safety. Uh, I'm sorry, solution. Our solution to this problem. Um, so obviously, this is a model that we've stolen from Smokey the Bear's playbook to prevent the fire before it happens. Uh, in other words, prevent any accident from happening in the first place. Um, so features that we've had added into the scooter uh, are lane keeping and traffic aware cruise control, which qualifies our vehicle as a level two autonomous vehicle. Uh, we've added a touchscreen tablet user interface to visualize, interact, and control the vehicle. Um, so basically, you would put it in a destination and it would take you to that destination. Uh, in order to accompany this machine vision system, we've had to completely redesign and reinvent the scooter from the ground up based on a three-wheel stable design. Uh, this includes Ackerman steering and a super tight suspension for a more comfortable ride. Uh, next up, we'll head over to the machine learning process across the bottom here. Um, so we have perception. What happens is our video and inertial data comes in and it's processed. It's brought in from our camera and sensor array, which you can see right in the middle there. All this makes up our scooter's ability to be sensing. Uh, this data is then piped into the machine learning algorithms and allows the scooter to map its environment and its own state within the environment. Uh, from perception, we go into path planning. Uh, with path planning, the scooter can then plan out where it needs to go based off of the perception, uh, based off of the lanes, the obstacles, and also the inertial constraints. Um, from there, it goes over to controls, and the final path is sent to a controls algorithm that outputs steering and acceleration to the scooter. So this sends the signal to the dual hub motors, which are in the wheels, and also the steering shaft design, which is in that little box and can be seen to the left. This is actually what turns the shaft and controls the left to right motion of the scooter. Uh, keep in mind, if Smokey the Bear had this kind of technology, uh, volunteer firefighters would need to find a different hobby. Um, also, he would definitely have a cool scooter to ride around on. Uh, for future efforts, we are looking to add in 5G integration to improve performance. Uh, to add mechanical simulation to determine strain analysis on this vehicle. We're also looking to build up plans for fabrication. Uh, we've already gotten a BIADA scholarship um, to for entrepreneurship, um, which was part of the project. Um, well, a few members of the project, we, we entered a competition and we won that competition uh, in terms of our entrepreneurship skills. Uh, and also market analysis, which would go along with that as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the presentation. Um, we're going to open it up now. If anyone has any questions, um, please feel free to unmute yourself and let us know. Should we start calling people out like professors do? Is anybody there? Can anybody, is anybody even watching this lecture?
Thank you.